we're here with the legendary Project Pat at One Music Fest. How you feeling? Oh man, I'm really good. Really good. We were just talking off camera. We had a uh, Mac Miller. Uh, I won't pull it off the table, but basically just a pick of Mac. And we were talking off camera just about your relationship with him and how how good of a dude he was, how talented he was. Oh, when man. did you first connect with Mac? Man, I have. Um, I really just started. You know, he was around Wiz. He was around Wiz, and that's when I connected with him. And then, like, I just started, like, like hitting him up, you know, and I was just, like, you know, listening to his stuff, and I was like, man, dude, he's really talented, like, he's a car. And um, I just, I don't know, man, I bought his CDs, I bought, I, I supported him one million percent, I messed with dude, like, he, he hard. And I liked his, I liked his lane, because, see, I like, I like people to do their own thing, like, you know, like. A lot of people don't understand. It's just like 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 Drake. Like Drake do his own thing. That's why he win. You know, do your own thing. Like a lot of people, they want to be like other people. But like Mac, he was never like that. He just did his own thing. That's why he won. Did you ever chop it up like in the studio when you guys working on some music? Uh, I had I got a, I got a song with Mac. I had he did for me on on a, um on one of my mixtapes back in like like it was like uh couple years, you know, for his, uh, his fall or whatever, and, man, he just a good dude, bro, like, he, I'm talking about, like, rapping on the song, he in charge, and he just, he messed with you, he messed with you. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm talking about, like, he was just a good dude. I mean, of course, he gonna charge, he business, you know what I'm saying, if he don't just know you like that, but if he knew you, man, he just jump on whatever, and then, you know, of course, it's business in the end, but he good, though. He was always good, yeah. Yeah, yeah rest in peace to Mac Miller. Sure. Always, always love uh, you mentioned Drake too, and uh, Knife Talk just went platinum, uh, which is crazy. Um, hey, did you, did you know that that record was gonna be special when you first got the calls and the samples, and you guys were first working on it? Well, when I heard it, I knew it was a good song. I knew that, um, but I didn't know like even I was on it because uh, uh, Metro connected me up, and then my brother had called me, and he was like. Man, you want to hear the greatest news of your life, you know? <laughs> and I was like, what you talking about, you know? But it was just a blessing, man. I just thank God for that. You know, that was a good situation. And uh, it was very profitable. <laughs> uh, yes, I'm, I'm sure. I'm it sure. It was very profitable. Okay, I know you got to go. I'll let you get out of here. Are you good? Uh, so I appreciate it. The last thing on your way, I was going to ask you with J. Cole's No Role Models. It, it, it listed at the sample as, you know, don't save her. Did you get royalties off that? Was that credited? Yeah, it, it, everything was good. Yeah, he's good. Everything. Every time stuff like that happens, you know, we always, you know, like some people do stuff you, you may hear that's underground and we just ain't heard it, but we basically don't bother that. You yeah. Know? It's, it's cool. All right, right. So, all right you got But if it goes go past the moon, we'll get a piece of that. Well, that, 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 that's you got to go. So I appreciate you. But okay. uh, thank you so much for the time, bro. For sure, bro. Nice. All right. For sure, bro.